Okay, I'm sorry. I'm still learning how to use this camera and I just figured out the thing just turned me blue. Um and I'm not I'm a brown skin girl. Skin just like pearls. Oh, it's my pointer finger. Oh my god. <laughs> well, hello. I'm back with another Disney related video even though I low key said I was going to like stop doing these, but I mean, it's kind of my brand stick to the stuff you know stick to the status quo high school musical i've always wanted to kind of do a video talking about the social aspects of the disney college program because before i did my cp i was very scared about what i was going to enter i'm kind of like i don't know how to explain it like i'm an introverted extrovert so i'm one of those people like i in our situation i'm kind of quiet but then once i like figure out what's going on i will adapt to whatever my situation is and i was scared i had not heard um, positive things about the social aspect of the DCP. I heard a lot of the times it was just like rich Caucasian kids kiki keying and as a person of color who is <sighs> I'd say middle class um, I was kind of scared of entering those situations again after facing the trauma that I had dealt with in high school and how those went but as we all know I end up having a great time but um, there's still a lot we need to unpack down there. But when I think about the social aspects of the DCP, like I said, it very much does remind me of that scene from Mean Girls. Crucial, because you got everybody there. You got your freshmen, ROTC guys, preps, JV jocks, Asian nerds, cool Asians, varsity jocks, unfriendly black hotties, girls who eat their feelings, girls who don't eat anything, Desperate wannabes, burnouts, sexually active band geeks, the greatest people you will ever meet, and the worst. So we're gonna get right into it. You guys will be so proud of me. I'm growing as a person, as a human, as an adult, and I'm actually starting to low-key plan these videos. We're gonna go to our first lunch table, and we're gonna say, it's, I put on here the Dis nerds. So these are like your diehard Disney fans. They know every single fact about the park. They know it what specific type of brick was laid in this specific type of par point of the park and what the name of that brick is and the serial number. They know every single little thing about the parks. And like, they come in a spectrum. They're either like very annoying or like very chill. Like every now and then they'll pop in with like a little, oh, like here's a cute little fun fact that most people don't know. But most of us watch the Funk Land and Yesterworld and all those other like Disney fact YouTube channels so we all kind of know it every now and then I'll actually be shocked by a Disney fact and typically it never came from a CP it came from someone who like worked in the parks and like knows what they're talking about but Disney nerds they're like they're kind of chill I only say this because I am one but I would say I'm on like the chill spectrum not like the hey <sighs> guys <sighs> side so then i have another like group i put the people of color i only say this because i was in like the disney people of color group chat not group chat there was like a group me and a facebook group and i joined it because like i was again scared of like i don't know how i was going to enter these situations even though i literally have been dealing with being like the only black person the only minority my entire life but i guess like going to an hbcu desensitized me from that's what we gonna unpack it another time but i'm gonna say the pocs because i feel like there it was really very much a family like if something happened at your location where it felt like oh this clearly happened due to race you could go and vent to someone who's like felt it before that is an another like main reason why i was very excited that my roommates all were people of color and it was like, we used to call ourselves small world because, you know, we had our Asian representation, our Hispanic representation, and Vera and our one other roommate were the black. black Sometimes it's just nice to be around people who look like you and have similar experiences and just like experience the parks like that. I wish that I, when they would have like park days, I kind of went, but I didn't get the chance to. But I am kind of like in the like, the Disney blacks, like Instagram thing community. I don't know. Cause I don't know why people don't think black folk like Disney. Huh? What? Negroes love nostalgia. Girls, the only thing that gets us through our trauma. Okay, Um. next I have the people who just like came there to work. There are clearly people who came to the CP cause they know it's a job, honey. They were not going to the parks. They were going to work and going home. Then leave, then leave. 
Some of these people also, some of these people end up also like sometimes being part-time students. So like there wasn't really time to have fun, but there are many people who are like, baby, this is a job. I'm trying to further myself up in the company. And this is just going to be a little knot in the stepping stool of life and applause to them. Um, actually, you know, I'm gonna put underneath this. After the people who knew that it was a job, I'm gonna put the people who had never worked a day in their life. There are people who came on the CP who had never worked a day in their life and did not understand the fact that the Disney college program, you had to work. You basically had to earn your keep. Baby, if you wanna stay there, you're going to have to work there. You're going to have to work there. And not every job is glamorous. Coming from someone who worked in quick service food and beverage and literally had to deal with AVAX and I worked in a seafood restaurant and I smelled like fish. I always made sure it smelled good, but there are very much people who did not understand the fact that you came there to work as a job at the end of the day. And because of that, they did get termed because you cannot sit here and call out of work and then go into the parks and then post it on Instagram. Baby, no. What? Like you will get fired and also you look silly. I forgot to add that those people who like did not understand the fact that you had to work are also the people who end up either swapping shifts all the time or like always ERing. See, okay. During my CP, my mom decided to cut me off. I ERed a lot. I took early releases a lot just to enjoy my time and also because they always gave it to me. But um, listen, I would like to thank God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, all of them, the whole Trinity because there is no reason why I should have been able to make rent and live and still buy as much merch as I had. Okay, you know what? I actually did go into debt, Never mind. Next I have on here are like APs who have been going to the park since they were in the womb and they've always wanted to experience this. There are definitely like APs and DVC kids who like come on the college program because they're like, oh my God, like I'm an AP and like I've known about the DCP since I was like, since I could read name tags or whatever so they like see it as just like another thing in like their disney journey they're like oh here's my first trip here's my cp here's my got my first ap and here's my first dvc stay and here is the part where I <laughs> there's also again a spectrum of them they're either like very much like, oh my goodness die hard disney or like oh like this is chill this is just something i want to do by the way my family's an ap so i like come here all the time so none of this is a big deal to me i guess you can also send other kids who are like this is not really a big deal to me you can put another click kind of being like kids who didn't grow up Disney, if that makes sense. Like, I did not grow up Disney, but like, I like Disney. Like, prior to my CP, I had only gone to the parks twice. I went when I was three, and I had a fear of people dressed in costumes, um, even though no one in Disney is dressed in costumes. Um, but like, I did not grow up Disney. My mom was one of those people who was like, we went on vacation here once, so why do we need to go again? So like the CP was kind of time to like remake childhood memories they did not get to experience. And that's kind of how Heidi was too. There's definitely that spectrum too. And like those kids are either like really cool as well or they're like overdoing it. Okay, next I have on here are the gap semester kids who don't know what they're doing in life. So they're just trying this out. Yep, that's me. The only reason I did a CP is because I had a mental breakdown and literally needed something that had nothing to do with school. But I was surprised because there was actually like another girl when I went to traditions, she was kind of there for the same reason. She was like, yeah, I kind of dropped out of college and I don't know what I want to do with my life. So I'm just kind of chilling here for a minute. I was like, oh, girl same. I didn't drop out, but girl same. So next is this. And there's like different types of Disney influencers or like CP influencers. Honestly, I didn't even know there was such thing as CP influencers until like during my college program. Cause like, like most people, I didn't watch like DCP vloggers. Like some people did the CP cause they watched Disney college program vloggers. And then they're like, yeah, I want to experience the same exact thing down to the T. I only found out about like college program vloggers because before my phone interview, I like Googled phone tips for the Disney college program interview. And I found some girls blog, like blog posts. And then I saw another girl's YouTube video. DCP influencers are either very bad or very good. There is no in between. Basically you have the YouTubers, the Instagrammers. I've never heard of like a DCP Twitter influencer in my life. I don't even know if that's a thing. Diz Twitter apparently is a thing, but I heard it's very scary. Now they're DCP TikTokers, but I don't think they start to like fully emerge until after my program. But we're gonna go into the YouTubers because I guess I could fall underneath that category. There is no tea, no shade. There's no hurt feelings in this at all, but 
let's break this down because my voice is getting shaky because there's a lot to really unpack here. In the wise words that somebody once told me, another YouTube person, Disney YouTubers slash DCP YouTubers are kind of very fake, but Disney Instagrammers are very nice. And I have noticed that. I did not hang out with a lot of like Disney YouTubers. I didn't, I never like collaborated with people. I'd sometimes like pop up in people's videos because they'd be like, oh, let's hang out. And I'm like, okay. And they just like have their camera there. But there are people who definitely came on their college program and started a vlog just for the purposes of like getting recognized in the parks, having like an online following and just like, you know, kind of seeming like micro famous within like the Disney parks world that was very present. I only say this because like there were people that when I started my YouTube channel, they would like comment and stuff like, oh my God, we should like hang out. Like, I love your stuff. Like we should do this and that. And I'll be like, okay, like sure. Like I had the mindset, the very naive mindset that everybody was my friend and everybody was nice because you know, this is Disney World. Baby, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. Did I learn quickly that is not true? There was like, I don't know how to really explain this, but I really don't care. There was apparently like a group of vloggers who did not like me at all and they talked about me all the time and I never met them a day in my life. And to this day, I've never met them a day in my life, never talked to them, never ran to them, never had any sort of dialogue, but they knew for a fact they hated me. And I just wanna have a conversation. I just did not have a good experience with at least some of the vloggers on my CP. Like some of the things that were being, s that these people who did not know me were going around and saying that were also very much just targeted at my race was very upsetting. But yeah, um, did not have a good time with CP vloggers out of the few I met. And a lot of them were just like flaky. They'd be like, oh my God, like let's collab. <laughs> and then leave you on red. I'm like, okay, I don't even know what that means. Like, what does that mean? Like, what are we going to do? But also I, some people are just like really nice. A long story short, Disney influencers, Disney YouTubers, um, are not kind. So we're gonna move on to the Instagrammers. I don't know, Disney Instagrammers are just like mad chill, bro. They're so nice. They just come, they take their little photos. They wear their little ears and go to their little walls and they're just so hee hee hee. Like that's literally them. Like they're just, they're just nice. Very nice people. My only beef with that community is their filters. <laughs> and then there's like, again, Disney TikTokers. I don't know a, a lot about them niches and annoying people of the college program. I don't know, like they're very much by the book. They think anything and everything you do will get you termed. Um, I'm gonna group these two people together. The five straight guys in the college program who take advantage of the ratio slash um, people looking for their prince charming or their princess and having their happily ever after. For some reason, there are always matchmaker groups slash singles groups in the college program slash crush groups. I don't know why. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. We're all grown. But people are like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just looking for a princess to watch how we were after with Briske. Um, someone that we can like kiss in front of the fireworks. And then they end up being players. But for them, they either like end up getting a girlfriend or they end up being like huge players. There's no in between. Okay, next are the party kids. Um, no one ever wants to admit it, but people party during their CP. Like, they're going to iBar, they're going to Happy Mondays, they're going to Chillers, they're going to Senior Frogs. Um, I was underage, so um, I didn't do anything. Or went out for the homies who didn't get to enjoy a legal CP. Everyone's like, I'm going to Jelly Rolls. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna go watch Illumination. Okay, next are like the ICPs. They kind of just kind of vibe together. And you had to save the best for last. The best for some, the worst for others. Um, entertainment. Entertainment CPs, you either love them or hate them. For some people who like, they went to an audition and they got pulled. They're like, oh yeah, I was supposed to like be um, quick service, but now I'm in entertainment. And this is technically my first real job. I'm sorry, y'all are just not humble. Um. Entertainment can either be the best or the worst people. I feel like entertainment CPs are very excited about the fact that like they are making magic and one of the most, inter like I guess you can say one of the most like, when people think like, oh, I'm going to go work at Disney World, most people think you're gonna go work entertainment and that is not how things work. Um, so I think they're just like very excited about the fact like, oh, like this is what we could do and a lot of the things we do is very secretive and blah, blah, blah. So it's kind of like you're being initiated into like a secret society or whatever. It really does depend on who. Some people, there is very much a spectrum for entertainment. You're very either very annoying, cocky, and like stuck up about it or you're just like kind of chill and you're just like, yeah, um, it's like whatever. 
but typically like people who work in entertainment who are chill they don't kind of become chill until they've like been in it for like a minute or so so that is all i have for probably the longest youtube video i've ever made in my entire life um i feel like i definitely left out some and most likely will be doing a part two but yeah if i'm missing any or if you feel represented or seen in any of the groups i mentioned comment what lunch table you would be sitting at oh actually before i go um i want to talk briefly about the layoffs that recently happened um, my heart goes out to all the cast members who were laid off um that's really unfortunate you know this the whole nine yards i really don't know what i could say in this point but i'm going to see if i can leave in the description box below resources for those that you know um need them along with just if you just need a quick pick me up and thank you for making magic you are appreciated no job you have done or role you served is has gone um without being admired and i'm not really good at words like this but if sometimes you just need someone to talk to my dms are always open peace out